everybody. Becky, late bloomer abroad here. Um, I'm supposed to already have been on my trip, uh, but because of, of course, COVID, it's uh, my first, the first part of my trip has been uh, canceled. I was supposed to go to the East Coast to visit my sister and her family, and um, their area is uh, spiking right now uh, with cases of Omicron. So um, I don't want to give anything to them. They don't want to have me there in case anything happens. Um, and then I couldn't go to Thailand. So, uh, I've delayed my trip to see them till this fall. It's disappointing, but uh, I think we both, we, we all feel pretty good about that decision right now. I applied for the Thailand pass, which is, um, the new scheme by the Thai government that people have to get before you can enter the country. They are constantly coming up with new uh, programs. The scheme that I'm entering on is called the Phuket Sandbox. Um, Phuket is uh, an island off of uh, the west coast of Thailand and known for its nice beaches and uh, islands, things like that. Anyway, I, if I, I can fly directly in to there, I don't have to, as a matter of fact, I can't go through Bangkok. I have to fly directly into Phuket and then you spend, you, uh, you give them a negative test that you took before you left the States and then you take uh, another test at the airport. Then they, you're taken to your um, certified hotel and then you have to wait there for 24 hours in your room. You can't leave your room until you receive your negative result from that test. Then the rest of the, uh, the seven nights that you're required to stay there, um, you can go anywhere on the island. You're free. So that sounded a lot better to me than quarantining in a hotel room um, in Bangkok. So that's where I'm going. And um, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I did get a scare yesterday. United Airlines notified me yesterday morning that my flight out of Bakersfield, my first flight um, on the way to Thailand, had been canceled. No explanation. Um, and uh, it was the only flight that would have gotten me to the the flight that I needed from Denver so um, anyway uh, my only option was to cancel that reservation which I did and look for an alternative after reviewing a lot of different options in California I um, have decided to take a bus to LA um, and my friend Cindy is gonna bring is gonna pick me up and take me out to dinner and then deposit me at my LAX hotel and then I'll fly out the next day. So it's added one day to my travel um, and an expense for the hotel and the bus. But um, the good news is I have a nonstop flight from LA to um, Frankfurt and then a nonstop from Frankfurt to Phuket. So I only have two flights now instead of three, which is great because I don't like takeoff. Uh, but I am waiting for that Thailand pass to be approved. Um, the government websites are notoriously bad. <laughs> um, and security is very bad on their websites. I got an email this morning um, from them when I hovered over the address. It was the right email address, but it was from a scammer. Um, trying to get me to click on a link. And when I um, looked at the file that the link was attached to, it was a VBS extension, which, um, you know, they would never, the Thai government would not be sending me something that was gonna modify my computer for sure. So um, I knew that was a scam. And um, so anyway, uh, hopefully they'll approve it. Um, it can take between three days and some people wait a month and never get their approvals. The next um, task is to decide what to pack and um, 
I've been fiddling around with that and I was gonna take my Osprey 40 liter backpack, but I have a shoulder injury that I've been dealing with and I can't get it fixed um, until this fall. Uh, so I decided I'm not gonna carry that, the big backpack. Um, I am gonna take a suitcase instead. So I bought a suitcase that I've been uh, scoping online for a long time and uh, so far I, I just love it. I think it's fantastic and it has a built-in um, uh, battery charger which is great too. Um, that can be removed if you check the suitcase but this the suitcase is so small I there's no reason for me to ever check it. I was able to get everything but two items that I had in the backpack into this uh, suitcase, and, which was a miracle because the suitcase looks significantly smaller than that 40 liter backpack. But I was able to do it, and the two items um, that I couldn't get in were not mandatory, were not, were things that were sort of extras that I just was gonna take if I could. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the only thing is that because the suitcase now is a little smaller, I was going to carry this great backpack that some um, of my friends who I worked with had bought me for my retirement present, and it's really a great backpack, and uh, I loved it. And I, I, I still, I have it packed. Uh, it's been packed for a couple weeks with a bunch of stuff in it, and it's what would go under the seat in front of me in the airplanes. But because now I'm going to a smaller suitcase instead of the backpack, I think I need to go with a slightly bigger backpack. I had bought one already about six months ago um, that it's a significantly larger storage area uh, than the one that my, that my friends gave me. It's not as cute. Uh, you know, but it'll get the job done. And I think since I'm going to be gone almost six months, I really need to make sure that I I have everything with me that I need because I don't want to get overseas and then have to spend the money to buy stuff that I already have here at home that I could have taken with me if I'd had more rooms. And lastly, getting ready for the two months that I'm going to be in Thailand, I started Thai lessons with a teacher on the eTalki uh, website and um, I'm really enjoying it. I One of my hobbies is learning languages and um, I've, this is the first time I've ever even started um, a, an Asian language and um, but I'm really enjoying it and I know 100% more than I did before I started last week so that's fun and I'm gonna continue that um, I'm, it's, it's a hard language, so I'm not going to know a lot before I get there, but at least I can be polite when I meet um, the Thai people and um, ask questions um, at the market and understand the, their response, hopefully, and order at the restaurant, things like that. I just want to do those simple things. Uh, I am keeping tabs online of what countries are allowing Americans in. Uh, into their borders right now and what the requirements are and things are just changing so fast and since I know I'm going to be in Thailand for the first two months um, I haven't really decided where I'm going after that so besides Thailand, France, Spain those are the only for sure's in my trip everything else we'll see okay I'll talk to you soon if I don't talk to you before my trip starts I'll post um, after I get to Thailand. Okay, ciao.